Hi. Um, today we are going to do a quick rundown of how to load a plate into the Fisher Scientific AccuScan F FC. And first thing we want to do, uh, as you can see, this one's already turned on, but we want to go to the back and flip this switch on to turn it on and it will run some initial diagnostics and the plate loader will automatically come out. So the, all I've done so far is flip the switch. So now what we want to do first is uh, place our plate in the plate loader. So what we have here is a A1 through C1 is just red dye, uh, A2 through C, C2 are red dye 1 to 500 diluted in PBS. Um, A3 through through C3 are PBS and then at A12 over here we have what we're going to use to calibrate uh, which is known as a blank. So first thing we want to do with the plate is take off the cover otherwise we will completely crash the machine. And we want to place it, see where it says A1? We want to place our A1 well where it says A1 and it fits in there real snug. Make sure that it's not set like this or this because you will crash the machine if it's not loaded correctly. So we you know that's it for loading the plate. Now we go to our screen. If you look at our screen, we can't really do anything. Uh, see all these are locked. Uh, because we are in a demo protocol. If you try to change the protocol, it just has preset protocols. So what you want to do uh, in order to change these parameters is go to File, New. And uh, we're not going to be doing anything complex, so we don't really need a whole lot. But we do want to go down and change our measurement to 450. Uh, nanometers for our wavelength and that that's it as far as this main screen so now's the good stuff we go to plate layout and we want to set up our plate here exactly like we have it here but it only has one type of uh, variable as I can tell uh, which I could be wrong but for now, we're just going to do it this way. Uh, just uh, click on unknown, and we want to have a fill direction to the right, because uh, we have three different three different uh, types of samples, and we want three replicates going down of each one. That's what we have. So we want three. For each one. You can also type in, in the numbers over here, but uh, there's really no reason to. And once you click accept, you will see that you have your wells uh, as blue. But that's not all we have. We also have our blank. So what we are going to do is set this as our blank. We don't need any replicates or anything. And just hit accept. And you will see that it is uh, white. So processing is good. Everything looks, that's, that's all the manipulation we're going to do. So what you want to do is just hit the start button. You can hit the plate in and out, but as soon as you hit the start button, it's going to shoot, it's going to open up the uh, plate loader and then just uh, close it again. So we want to hit the start button and just hit OK and it starts running our plate and it just says measuring and it's already done. So what we have here is our adsorbents for, for our samples. It has deemed that our red dye is too high of adsorbent so it can't can't measure it because no light passed through it. So uh, it has excluded those 
and it has given us nice readings for our diluted uh, red dye and these are about in line with uh, our blank because they are the same as our blank. Uh, it's not always going to, going to be exactly zero even though they're the same substance uh, because there's just uh, you know there could be a dust particle or just very small margin for error but it shouldn't be if this were one or something there would be a large issue but uh, these uh, small variances don't matter at all so yeah uh, you can also plug your flash drive in here to get the data or you can just take a picture of the screen and that's pretty much it that's all all we want to do with the data for now so uh, thank you very much for watching